Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I am here today to do a flip through of the scrappy journal that I made that is reserved for Pen. So Pen will receive the scrappy journal and all of these embellishments. There's about 18 of them. I'll sh go through the 18 at the end. And when I make the embellishment, the, yes, the embellishment packs, I use the same threads that I use in the journal. So we'll put those up and we'll go through the journal first. Love the scrappy covers. The cover is made with craft paper that has been scrunched sewn by on the machine all the way around with the old cheesecloth underneath. I've layered it with handmade papers in shades of blues, handmade papers, different fabrics and cheesecloth and old lace trims. And I've embroidered stitches along the bottom. Sometimes it's just hard to see stitches across the top, top, all the way down the spine and across. I have attached a little closure, a tie that is sewn onto the back of the journal. And I'll show you how to close it at the end. So our journal starts off like this, our scrappy junk journal. Just love how it feels, how it sounds. It's soft yet crunchy. And the inside, I have used the first, first, um, I have a slit slot binding system. And the slots are glue, well, glued and then hand, glued and then machine stitched onto the covers. So let's look inside the slit binding system. The slits are alternating coffee dyed paper, the white, background with black and then the black background with white and it's various different patterns. First page, coffee dyed cotton. Love these craft long strips that I extend outward from the slit slot binding fabric binding system and then a craft envelope with a library card printable very old laces and trims that I have torn, stitched on, hand stitched on, embroidered, old vintage handkerchief, blackish dyed fabric. All of my scrappy journals are going to contain a hand drawn original artwork from me, several pieces in here. This is an old book page that has been inked on the edge with sepia ink, mixed media or watercolor paper, and I've used gelatos, but to draw with, I've used a fine line marker with paints, black paint and white paint to create these beautiful flowers. And again, I love the accenting of the coil rings from the torn out pages and the torn book pages. Love the fabrics. All the hinges are stitched on with a sewing machine double stitched, alternating the hinge system, Tim Holtz paper, scrappy snippets, different laces that are coffee dyed, naturally aged, tea dyed, Battenberg lace trims, and they're stitched on with different embroidery stitches, French knots and a straight stitch. Love how you can see the progression of the layers throughout the journal as you, each page progresses. It gives you a little different view. My favorite scrunched and stitched page with craft paper stitched onto the hinge. Slit slot hinge system, Tim Holtz paper, different fabrics, the old cheesecloth and the black and white polka dotted fabric loose French knots, and it's a little flip. Love the extending the pages by just adding papers and stitching them on. Book page craft. I just love little torn bits of craft paper, a craft label, 
a long snippet with different laces and trims and embroidery colors and stitches along the edge. And I love to see the stitches across the back. Double Tracy Fox labels with washi tape. Love this extension of handmade paper, lace trim, organza, other lace trim, old cotton laces and nylon laces, just various different layers throughout. Stitching is on the back and it's, it's various hand stitching that I attached th throughout. It's kind of hard to see because it's ivory on ivory or very light coral or very light pink on ivory. Extending the page outwards with the book page, craft paper, cotton, and it is stitched. I hand drew this design of a flower and then I used pearl cotton in various shades to stitch on here. Love the stems and the leaves. Different three pieces of fabric that are glued and then just stitched on for decoration. Love the progressing of the layers outwards. This is drawing paper and there's two pieces so it's a pocket and I just made a lazy daisy stitch and tied it at the top the threads just for decoration stamped and inked love the fabric hem system because it just everything lays flat and the pages are are inserted through the slit slots and stacked on top of one another, hence they lay flat. Tim Holtz double layer of paper, many, many layers of fabrics, trims, lace bits, the beautiful turquoise variegated embroidery floss. Love just the little bits that hang over the side and you get a different view when you turn every page because some parts are hidden some are seeing through very old hymnal book and opposite fabrics the crunched craft paper love the sound stitched along the edge with pearl cotton layering of papers tim holtz papers old piano page and again reversed to give it strength the honey colored doily and the turkey work stitch with the aqua. Many, many layers of printable uh, doily images, craft paper, paper doilies, book pages and printables and I've outlined them on the sewing machine along the various pieces of paper. Double stitched on the hinge. Another extension of a page going outward starting with the fabric hinge, craft paper, old lace trim, cotton trim, lace bits torn, handmade paper layered and stitched on just for, just because, because it's a scrappy journal. Things and stuff, little bits added on and stitched. It's machine stitched on this edge. Another hand-drawn image by me, my version of hydrangeas made with the fine line applicator that has black paint, white paint, and then I've used gelatos. Old, on old book page, mixed media, paper, inked with sepia archival ink, and again, the layering of the craft paper, the, the watercolor paper, and the book page. This is a double layer page made with the piano paper roll, craft paper, on Tim Holtz paper, multi layers of scrappy bits that have been stitched on with Caribbean blue embroidery floss. Just love the stitching. I did hand stitch the pieces of cloth together so they stay. Hence, you're making your own scrappy cloths that you're actually attaching to extend the page or as a page. opposite hinges and colors, Tim Holtz paper. Well, that's just part of the cotton, co 
cotton trim. Probably. Let's take it off anyway. Love these multicolored pearl cotton threads. Turkey work. I love how the loops, because when you do turkey work, you do an anchoring stitch and a loop, anchoring stitch and a loop, and it stays. You can pull, 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 and it stays the same length. That's what's so nice about it. Torn cotton lace trim, opposite black and white hinges, crunched paper along the edge, and inked and beautiful lace, old lace trim that is layered with another piece of taffeta or organza, I'm sorry, and stitched along the side with a shade of blue. Love the opposites of the cotton hinges, the little flap, beautiful cotton fabric, and the hand stitching. So every page is either machine stitched or hand stitched or both. And again, look at this page. It starts off with a black and white hinge. Add a piece of the old typewriter paper, the book page, Tim Holtz paper, printable on vellum, multi-layers of old bits, and two layers of turkey work done in two different variegated colors of turquoise and aqua. Just love how those colors look together and how the pages progress, how they lay. This page is made from the hinge, the craft paper, and a very old piece of lace trim. Hand stitched on, hand stitched on. Very fragile and love the little stitching. This is one of my signature black gesso patchwork pages where pen can draw a flower and stitch it on or use a gel pen and write on here but it's ready to go. From the cotton hinge, again, the piece of craft, book page, the cotton, and the layering of the fabrics with a glue stick and stitching with the different embroidery flosses. Very, very nice. Love this page. Absolutely love this page. And next one, it's a square piece of paper that's folded on an angle, double stitched onto the fabric hinged, and inked again with the sepia ink. All the edges are of the papers are inked with the sepia archival. Different layers of fabric trims, or lace trims, I mean. That lovely turkey work, and paper this time as well. Multi-layers, Tim Holtz paper the piano roll paper and the craft, a long rectangular strip of fabric that is pleated three times and put straddled on the page and then just overstitched with embroidery floss. One of my favorite crunched pages, craft, inked, double stitched on the hinge. Beautiful crochet doilies and this reminds me just a little rectangular piece of those cross stitch gingham pieces I made when I was smaller and they just remind me of that and I love the the progression of the different shades of blues and aquas across the doily image and the back half of that multi-layered page that has been sewn on with the sewing machine Beautiful music staff paper and a straddled piece of, and it's a tuck on both sides, craft paper, book page, dry embossed wrapping paper, and then stamped. Love how that looks. And the back of the journal. Beautiful sounding journal. To close it, you just fold it over and we have the sewn strap that we just wrap around one two and on the third time I just tuck it in and I'm going to place this to the side and where did I leave all of oh they're up here okay so we have about 18 different pieces of ephemera that match the journal 
that can be used in this journal can be displayed or used in other journals. It's just a top straddle piece. It could be a tab or just a straddle piece. Various layers of paper outlined with ink. Paper snippet. Different scrap pieces layered on top of each other. Hymnal. Label. And they're all shades of neutrals. Uh, different shades of tans, crafts, ivories, whites on top of each other. Book, music, paper, labels, and a cutout of a flower. Tag made with a piece of cardstock. Tim Holtz paper, piano paper, layered, reversed, one on top of the other, and a tag folded in half, and some hand stitching with aqua threads. Oh, and this is Sorry. All the white bits that I have in here, like this one, it's from a ball of Sorry silk that I have very little bit left over yet of. Tag, multi-layered scrappy tag. Coffee dyed papers, book page, the two hinge papers that I use, the book music, she sheet music, can't even speak today, sheet music, craft paper, and a reinforcer, paintable wallpaper, vintage book page, and a printable. Another sorry topper is this one here, and this is the front. We have a, I started off with a book page that is just folded not in half, but like within the inch, and then a piece of craft inserted inside, and then a printable straddling the right edge. Two piece tag topper, or three piece if you count the reinforcer, and a couple of labels, and voila, machine stitched all the way around, double. That's machine stitched and inked. I inked and machine stitched all of these. So, on, and this book. It's a small little booklet. Just the outside edges I inked. The inside pages are not inked. So this is a um, dictionary page with a printable, book binders cloth, double stitched along the spine, labels. Oh, sorry, this is part of a printable. And I use, sorry, I poked two holes through all of the papers. That's my center. Poked two holes, fed the sorry through, tied a bow, and just multi layers scrappy journals you throw in a tag some maybe some line paper you, th you fold it back and you have beautiful variegated stitching original ledger coffee dyed grid paper stickers and these are old scrappy stickers so if they start to come off either stitch a line across down the center or put some glue stick on there so same with this. This is a vellum sticker and vintage ledger, vellum paper, washi tape. Love the perforations at the top. And old ledger, another stitch. I just did the lazy daisy along the edge rather than a blanket stitch. Only because I love that stitch. And the booklet. This one I made four of these and once these four are put in these various scrappy journals they will be gone. I am trying to use up all the printed bits that I have so far and we have a, a neutral plain tag in the back layered with book page, a your creative studio, different pieces, Tim Holtz people, piano page, I'm sorry, piano roll paper and the craft. I always combine those two together. Scrappy bits that are stitched across the top for a tag topper. Love scrappy bits. And uh, the, even the back is nice with the different layers. Love this sc scrappy note card, I guess, or writing. Like It's like a bookmark or it's just a piece of ephemera. It's layered pieces of cardstock. This old farm implement receipt book. Phone number was 89. <laughs> that was quite a long time ago. Two digits. 
layers of paper on the top. Just various layers on top here. Just because I just like the way it looked. And then I stitched across this top with some pearl cotton. Had lots of bingo cards from Tim Holtz. And I decided to use them in these journals. So I... <laughs> Only used eight of them because on one 12 by 12 sheet, I forget if you had nine of them all together and I have lots of sheets. So I've made various layers of Tracy Fox Digital's paper, uh, my black and white fabrics, old laces and trims and um, cheesecloth. Tim Holtz, little slide, but then I had an acetate film strip to put over top. So those photo booth pictures you can put various overlays and have them look nice and I went round and around like Sagita does in her photos and it's backed with a heavy heavy tag so it's quite sturdy love these I made a video on my YouTube channel on how to make these I had vellum pieces of vellum bags left over old book pages and I just made a little document style booklet document style is just a hole poked in with some twine or string anything that'll bind the pages together that's how they were made years ago sample designs multi layers of fabrics and trims and you open it up and i love how the edges of these doilies are just placed so the crocheted bits are sticking out the side hand stitching of course and love the printables and my glossy uh, glossine bags. Just love how those turned out. And Tim Holtz playing card. They had people on it and I covered up, oh sorry, this is the back of the card. And I, they had people, I covered it up because I just wanted it to look like this. I love the backs of them. That's why I purchased them years ago. This is a safety pin tag top with little scrappy bits, fabric and lace trims and love the layering and the stitching. Scrappy bits of old lace, old book pages, di different printables and papers, vellums, book pages, sheet music, stamps, labels, layered on top and stitched across the back. Same with these. We have a craft paper bag, torn wallpaper, paintable wallpaper, printables, lace, sheet music, and a tea card, faux tea card, and lace underneath. And we have the stitching. Love craft. This is a fabric and lace sampler of the laces I used in the journal. This is the printable. Love that printable. And I've used, put in here various fabrics that I've used in the journal. The different black and white pieces. As well as just some of the different crocheted bits that I've used. And I tied it up with the craft twine. Beautiful. Paper. Cluster. Craft paper. Old shilling money conversion sheet, printables, music, labels, and a fussy cut flower. And across the back. Love these, just these craft pieces of paper, probably the shape of icicles or like triangles, carrot shaped and just layered back and forth and stitched on top. Love how they can just sit on the edge of the page, just be added to something. I really, really like those. A little tag made with scrappy bits. Scrappy bits of coffee dyed cardstock, book page, and craft. Scrappy lace bits laid, layered and staggered and stitched across with a sewing machine. And the last one, a little tag and braille and old scrapbook paper from years ago and a digital and i tuck some uh, eyelet coffee dyed eyelet into the hole and i stitched across the top so there we have it all of these embellishment pieces and the journal are reserved for pen and 
as I'm uploading this to YouTube, I will post this to Etsy, reserved for pen. Just to confirm that this one is for Ashley. I'll be working on Ashley's next. Beautiful. And Lisa is getting this one. I haven't done my... I'm just working on the... The journals are done. I just have to do the hand stitching. So is the ephemera. The ephemera is all done. I just have to do the hand stitching on everything. I have two journals that will be available. No one has reserved them yet. One is this red alligator print handmade paper and one is this beautiful orange crinkled paper and it has different coral colors of accents so these two are available still so off i go and thank you everyone for watching bye for now